Hey YouTube, welcome back. Now this is the first video in the steps for the fabrication of a complete denture. Now we're going to be starting off with the bases. Now the denture bases were previously made of shellac. Shellac had a lot of waxes and oils within it so that would translate into poor dimensional stability and it also had very low strength. So if the shellac denture base fell on the floor, it would break. And even if you maintained it carefully, with time it would deform on its own. So now then came acrylic denture bases into the picture. Now acrylic denture bases are stronger, they are more dimensionally stable, everything good until you put more monomer in it. Now when there is excess monomer in a denture base, what happens is it tends to leach out and it makes the whole denture base weak. So now the problem with the weaker denture base is again it becomes brittle and in some patients it can also cause irritability. Uh, even though patient is not a general concern in the second year because you will be making the denture bases uh, off of casts and not on real denture uh, bearing surfaces. Um, so that's all good and fine until you have to repeat this on uh, patients then it will be a problem right so now there are different methods that make the usage of acrylic denture bases convenient there are different kinds of acrylic denture bases um, based on the materials there can be cold cure acrylic resins used or heat cure acrylic resins can also be used um, so now the cold cure does have certain disadvantages when compared to the heat cure the heat cure is stronger and uh, it has very uh, comparatively lesser monomer content so it is better for the patient who is irritated uh, in the presence of excess of mo uh, monomer so that's all good and fine but um, heat cure acrylic denture bases are more difficult uh, to fabricate uh, so now acrylic denture bases can be fabricated by two main ways that is the dough method and the injection method the dough method is actually simpler in a way it takes lesser time i suppose but the problem is you will you will probably not get a uniform thickness and usually when i tried it in the second year uh, it would always overlap as in the mixed uh, acrylic resin they would always overlap and uh, it would form uh, cuts and crevices on the denture base surface so that's always there but the denture bases which are made with uh, uh, the dough method do tend to have lesser porosity so that's a plus but because of the thickness you'll be trimming all day long so that's not really uh, what you want and the second method is the injection method and what you can do with in the injection method is you can use like a sprinkler for your powder and you can just sprinkle the powder on the cast which has been uh, you know you have to layer the cast first with some uh, uh, know, cold mold seal or um, some separate uh, uh, you have to apply that um, it will be a pink fluid um, and then you can up, uh, allow it to dry so that a resistant surface is formed and then you can continue with the denture base fabrication so what you can do in injection technique is you apply the powder and then drop by drop you apply the monomer on the powder surface so that it wets the powder particles and uh, you can move on and you can maintain a uniform thickness and uh, the other advantage is I suppose that um, lesser uh, trimming uh, but the problem is the porosity is higher um, and while removal also if you are not careful uh, some amount of cast will just break off and stay inside the denture base and that is another procedure in removing all that and so there's a trick to it in by which you can remove it very easily that's by keeping the um, you know after you've completed the denture um, and you know that it's set like 15 20 minutes later you can just put it in some hot water and then you can just try to remove it it'll just pop out uh, so yeah, uh, this is a general outline, a very general outline of denture base fabrication. It's a huge procedure 
and you can only learn that by experience. So I'll leave that up to you. Like, subscribe and wait for the next video. Uh, the next video is going to be preparation of occlusal rims. I'll give you the dimensions. I'll teach you some tricks. Let's see how it goes on with that. Okay. Have a nice day.